I'm the Jill of all trades. <laughs> I've been a chef, I've done barista-ing, I have been a dancer and been paid for that, singer, been paid for that, I recorded audio for audiobooks, massage therapy. I mean, the list goes on and on. When I was 20, I started traveling all over the world. I lived in four countries, now I speak three languages. I was partying, drinking, and meeting tons of people. You know, living my best life, and I definitely was not setting aside any time for relationships. You know, like, I am the epitome of party girl on, like, the highest level. But then, two years ago, I took a job that sent me down to the Dominican Republic. And then I was literally just sitting at a table working on my computer with my colleague. And this waiter strolled up to our table and said, ladies, tequila time. And I was like, damn, he's cute. And my colleague was like, yeah, Kara, he's cute, but he's super young. She thought he was like a young boy, which he probably, I mean, he was, but he's a beautiful young boy. <laughs> I mean, he was 21, he's definitely legal. Yeah, a little cougar action over here. And then we exchanged numbers, started chatting, and one thing led to another. His name is Guillermo. He's 23 years old, from Caracas, Venezuela, and he's been living in Dominican Republic for the past four years. I love you. Guillermo is beautiful, brown, chiseled jaw, fat lips. I call them my pillows. Even his grandmother says how he has a sexy mouth. And if Granny says it, you know it's gotta be true. <laughs> so I had the opportunity through my job to actually move down to the Dominican Republic and that changed everything. Within a few days of me landing, he was pretty much spending every night at my house. We even adopted our dog Cheeky Mama together. Te toca un besito. Mmm, rico, besito. Guillermo has literally made me a different person in a better way. I've been in relationships, but they, like I don't let them get that serious. And so I think before I was like a little bit rough and tough, not letting people in, and Guillermo has just nestled his little way right into my heart and made me soft. We had been living together for about eight months. He arranged for us to go to this really beautiful hike through the kind of through the jungle and ended up on this really huge rock and he just like dropped down on one knee. And I started crying. It was just so beautiful. I don't think I ever thought the tequila time guy would be my fiance, you know? 